biofuels, or sustainable aviation fuel as it is known in the aviation industry, is increasingly seen as a good way to reduce the environmental impact of thousands of aircraft operating today, especially as a near-term solution. The science of sustainable aviation fuel affects how it can be used. Today's jet fuels, which power nearly all commercial aircraft, are petroleum-based fuels, made up of molecules varying between 8 to 16 carbon in length. A sustainable aviation fuel must have a molecular composition in a similar range and match jet fuel standards. Why is this important? Because it means the engines and other parts of the aircraft do not have to be modified to be powered by SAF. When it comes to the actual production of sustainable aviation fuel, there are many pathways being explored in both the SAF and aviation industry. New technologies are enabling the conversion of residue from a wide range of biomass, waste feedstocks and plants into SAF for use in commercial aviation. These include forestry slash, wood, grasses, used cooking oil, camelina oil and non-edible oils algae and lignocellulosic biomass, or in other words, dry plant matter, which is one of the most promising potential raw materials for the production of biofuels, offering a high reduction in CO2 emissions. Another way of producing SAF is through renewable energy, water and air capture, known as power to liquid, where renewable electricity is used to electrolyze water to produce hydrogen and capture CO2 from the atmosphere. Now, the CO2 can then be converted to carbon monoxide, and when combined with hydrogen, it turns into synthetic gas, or syngas, as it's more commonly known. This method has a number of advantages. However, a significant amount of electrical energy is needed to convert the syngas into liquid fuel, which means production is costly. Many more feedstock technology combinations for SAF production are already being evaluated. Like fossil fuels, sustainable aviation fuel has to meet stringent performance and safety standards. A 50-50 SAF and jet fuel blend is already being used successfully on commercial flights. There are also tests being conducted into aircraft powered by 100% SAF, but the availability, cost and quantity needed is at the moment limiting how the industry applies this technology. Today, Embraer is looking to the future with the E-Jets E2, the most fuel-efficient aircraft in single aisle, flying with 100% SAF. Join me next time when I will be looking at how aircraft operations are changing the flying experience.